Welcome everyone to this new video. We're going to see in this video feature detection. What are features in an image? Features are this part of information which describes the image. For example, feature can be edges, corners, circles, ellipses, blobs, and so on. So for example, if we take this book, what the features can be. This corner, this other corners, this edge, and actually almost everything here can be a feature because everything is so different in this page. So each letter can be a feature even if it's just a small part of a letter. Um, here are the edges between the background and the foreground of this drawing of this, what is a ghost? I don't know. Um, while here, if you have a white page, of course, here there can be a feature because of the lightning and this shadow, but usually when you have something just white, there is nothing really that you can work on. And so, why are features important? When you detect a feature, for example, let's say that this letter M is a feature. With the feature you get also the descriptor. The descriptor is a way that the computer uses to describe the features. So for example, if we want to compare two images, let's take a look at this one which is the original cover of the book and the book that I have. If we compare straight the pixel of this M with this image, of course, it is going to look different because the color of the book is a bit different. The lightning and the position, the, the rotation, if the rotation is different, you cannot compare the same pixel. The same is for the perspective and so on. But the descriptors define, define the features no matter what's the orientation, the position, the rotation, and so on. So we can, for example, compare this image that I have on the screen with the book, no matter how I keep the book. I can keep the book this way, this way, this way. It can be strong lightning, not strong lightning, it can be dark, but it's most likely that the feature they're going to be detected is the same here and here in the image. So it's really important, let's say, for object de detection. Um, so let's see first how to detect the features. And in another video, we will see how to compare them to compare the features between more images. We're going now to see for this, the SIFT algorithm and keep in mind that the SIFT algorithm doesn't come with the standard library of OpenCV so we need to install something else so let's go on settings project project interpreter and then we're going to install OpenCV contrib python Now we can start typing the code. Let's import CV2. Let's import numpy as np. Let's load the image cv2.imread. Uh, in this case, the title is the book tiff.jpg. I'm going to load it grayscale cv2.imread. Gray scale I hope it's it's correct okay and you can download this image from the link in the description or even better you can use your own image let's show the image cv2.im show image and then emg cv2.wait key 0 cv2.destroy all windows 
let's run the code and until the moment it's all right then let's load the shift algorithm let's create the object shift it's equals to cv2 dot x fit just copy this one x features 2d dot shift underscore create and you can pass other parameters now it's not important like the number of features the threshold now we're going to see just the basic then let's detect the key points on the image key points is equal to c dot detect on the image and then we can pass a mask for example if we want to work let's say with just this image this in the center so this what is this uh not ghost effort i don't know the this skeleton skeleton probably and this girl so we will pass a mask which covers everything else and just leaves this one this is just an example uh, but in this case we are not going to use, use any mask so we'll say none and now let's draw the key points emg it's equals to cv2 dot draw key points of the so image emg key points it's a key p kp and out image none let's run the code again and here we have all the features detected if we want the descriptor as well we can do we can use another call code which is k key point let's call it full like key points descriptors it's equals to cv2 no actually not to do shift dot detect and compute on the image and again this is the same non because we're not going to use any mask and key points are still the same just we have the descriptors in advance we don't need the descriptors right now the descriptors we will need later on if we want to compare this this image for example with another one for example i have this one that i took before so we're going using the descriptor we will compare descriptors of this image and of this image and we're going to detect each part of the book the same part anyway getting back to the feature detection I have to say that we have three different algorithms we have the shift that I've just showed you but we have also the surf uh, why the serve the serve is a bit different and it's much faster so usually you could use the serve instead of the saved and the serve is cv2.x features 2d.surf create and all the rest it work it works exa exactly the same so here instead of shift you are going to use serve serve the object so that you created before and you run the code and here you get the key points one thing that you have to know is that shift and serve they are both patented so if you want to use them for commercial use you need to pay a license each year in alternative to this, with OpenCV standard library comes 
the ORP algorithm, which is for free. ORB is equals to CV2 dot ORB create. And once you create the object as we did for sift and for serve, the rest of the code is again still the same. So here we just change this serve with ORB. And in this case, ORB is going to detect something a little bit different. It doesn't work exactly the same. Here it is going to detect fewer points because the ORB, I saw that it detects until 500 points. If you want to detect more points, you can change it here and number of features, let's say until 1500, for example. And now you, you have much more points. And and I think this is all for for this video. We're going to see in the next video how to compare the descriptors of two different images to find what's similar in those in these images. Thanks for watching.